guys i hope you're all well welcome back to my youtube channel um it's a bit of weird lighting in this one i hope that you guys don't mind but it's the dullest day and i don't have studio lights or anything so i'm just sat in my living room i've got two lights on one is a lamp which is why it's quite a harsh light and the other one is just a really rubbish room light hence the need for two lights um but yeah i thought this was quite like conversations with Sinead into my spotlight um so I was like maybe it'll work and it'll be like my cozy fireside chat um Penny's here to join the video yes yeah, she is oh she's always here um so today uh, and the reason why I'm filming today even though it's gloomy because also you can't guarantee that the next 100 days won't be gloomy in England and I wanted to do I've got my little list I wanted to do a gift guide so Obviously, we're already into December, so ideally I would have done this before, but I've been away, as you guys know, if you don't know, I've been on my honeymoon, so I've been out of the country. So I only landed on the 1st of December, so it's taken me a while to like sort myself out, uh, and then I was like, I better get my act together, so I'm not going to be doing a gift guide this year. So I've, rather than just literally listing everything I own I've tried to just do five categories so it was meant to be five pieces but then I was like I can't narrow it down to five pieces so I picked five categories so they're kind of like the same thing but I've shown you different options if you know what I mean so I'm not going to blabber on I'm just going to get straight into it um but if you do like this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more because I will be doing a menswear one too um because also I like doing the women's one one because it's easier for me to do and also because I feel like you could ask for this and maybe like you have women in your I mean I'm sure you have women in your life to buy for too but I feel like most of you will have partners to buy for or dads and they are old brothers and they are really difficult to buy for so I feel like because my audience is female that's probably the most useful one so yes that's what <laughs> I get so distracted guys I hope you don't mind me going off on my rambles um if you do let me know and I'll just make sure I cut them out in my edits um but anyway okay so five gift categories so I've got my piece of paper here because I'm like forgetful I get like jet lag brain like I just can't the other day I was trying to um go on a website where I make my thumbnails it's Canva Jack reminded me but I was literally like for three days I just could not remember what the website was I was like how am I not remembering it I use it every day normally but because I haven't used it for a month I just forgot rambling again okay so the first one is smelly things as in good smelly so I have a few options for this and rather than showing you like all the different things from all different brands I've picked like one item per brand and I'll just discuss so the first thing and the only thing that I was going to show you is this which is Jo Malone I personally think that first of all it's amazing because you don't have to wrap it second of all Jo Malone is just like I think a woman really appreciates the little cream and black packaging it's luxury it's lovely it's something that people often can't afford to buy themselves so it is something that they look forward to for christmas and birthdays um and it's just a really nice really really nice gift um i think you can ask for the christmas wrapping or the usual wrapping um but yeah so this was a gift that was sent to me recently but i do have like 10 jo malone perfumes because i really love them um, obviously I'm very lucky to work with them as well. So I have, my, I actually wore Jo Malone perfume on my wedding day. I'll leave a link to my blog post before which I explained about my wedding scenting and the scents I use. And I'll link below the scents because they're the ones that I wear every day and that I adore. But this is a more Christmassy scent that they've brought out and it's got the special packaging. Um, so it's got the navy and then the navy and gold there. Can you see? It's reflecting off the red advent calendar that you guys are sitting on at the moment. <laughs> um, but it's a really lovely smell. It's rose and magnolia, and it's got like a kind of wintry smell, but it's still floral. So I feel like it's got that really nice wintry smell, but it isn't something that you would exclusively wear at winter. It's not too heavy and too like musky, and I feel like a lot of winter scents can kind of feel a bit old lady, and this isn't. Uh, and as with all Jo Malone, they do gift, they have gift sets and things, so like smaller ones, um, and then they have all the perfumes, obviously. You can also get engraving, which is a really good idea for Christmas. You can get engraving either on the top or on the bottom, and I feel like anyone loves anything personalised. 
um, and they also do candles, body creams, body washes. So it's a really good option. A Jo Malone candle or perfume will always go down the tree. So candles is another one, but I didn't want to show you all Jo Malone. Um, so this is actually my favourite candle I've ever had in my entire life. And it's called Santel 26 and it's from Le Labo. Uh, and they, it's just the most beautiful smell. Like, I don't know how to explain it apart from heaven. Everyone who comes around, I'm like, smell this candle. And they're like, oh my God, it smells amazing. As you can see, I've never lit it because I am too scared of it disappearing. So I literally just, every day, I'm like, Okay, I have my daily smell. Um, but they do do it in a perfume too, so maybe I should just get the perfume and burn the candle and stop being such a weirdo. Um, but these are pricey, I think around the same price as Jo Malone, like a luxury price point, really nice. Um, so they do perfume and candles as well. And another brand, if you wanted to like go for more affordable candles, is Jo Mal um, Malone, White Company. Their candles are around £20, the smaller, like the stand, not small, but like this size, not because they do the big ones too. Um, and uh, uh, the same as Jo Malone, but like more of a, I still think people see White Company as luxury, but it is high street prices. So I do think anything from the White Company, they do obviously like hand creams, perfumes, um, candles, diffusers, they also always go down the tree. I mean, I love White Company and they do a Christmas candle, which is really nice too. So the final smelly thing I wanted to show you is this Elemis body cream. So I'm not sure if this is still for sale. It was a breast cancer awareness product. Um, I'm sure they have things like this Christmas with gift sets too, but it's just wanted to show you that uh, it's a really nice idea. It's just like, obviously, I'm sure the woman in your life probably has a favorite brand. Elemis is a really good brand and one that everyone knows about and I'm sure would appreciate. And this is a really nice Elemis Pro Culture Marine Cream. It's their hero product. It's really nice. It comes in a leather box, which obviously they could use for travel or to put their beauty products in. It's a nice little display thing if they wanted to put jewelry in or something. Um, and yeah, just a nice product. They have gift sets and stuff as well. I know this is a good one. And they also do candles, which are more affordable than the other two brands. So the next thing on my list is knitwear. So I have a few different things to show you. Again, um, I think knitwear is a really good gift idea because I think it's winter, so it's relevant. And also, I just think you can never have enough. So the first thing I want to show you is a jumper. So I think jumpers are a great 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 gift idea um this is one that i have from acne acne is more expensive knitwear obviously you can get high street as well which is really nice um and also there's lots of brands that aren't like branded that have really nice knitwear as well so just kind of like a good quality knit that's not necessarily a brand uh but i love my acne jumper so much i wear it all time i think it's an amazing investment and there's loads of them on the outlet at the moment they did have this one that sold out but i will link this one i'll link below everything i explain i talk about and also i'll link some acne knitwear on the outlet that's on offer uh and some alternatives that are high street but yeah, a good quality knit will last them a lifetime and it's a really good gift because also it's something like maybe they won't buy themselves um, and the jumpers on the uh, outlet were about £150, some of them. So I think that's quite reasonable considering a knit from Zara can be like £80 now. And then the second knitwear thing is scarves. So again, I have an acne scarf. Um, so I think, again, acne is a brand everyone knows appreciate i have a pink one it's like the color of the packaging so it's like the acne pink um they have this really nice label in which people love because it shows and it's like acne i spilled coffee all over mine so mine's brown um but they have it in black and gray and white and camel and all lovely colors i literally want one of every color good gift idea i think it's under 100 pounds or just over so it's not super expensive but it's a little bit of luxury to wear um and i want to show you a high street one so this one is from accessorize last year and it's just a really chunky blanket scarf blanket scarves are a great gift idea zara i don't know if i've seen any in recent years but they used to be like my go-to for blanket scarves yeah this one as i said is some accessorize um i'm sure you can find some amazing ones luxury and non-luxury uh, but as you can see, this looks amazing. I got it last year, still amazing quality, and that's some accessory. So you don't have to spend a fortune to get something really nice. So the next thing is personalised leather, and I've got a few different leather things to show you. So my go-to, um, obviously, I've pretty much got everyone I know one of these now, so I'm having to like expand, is a passport holder. 
an Aspen or passport holder. You can't go wrong. This is my old one. And then Aspen and Alexa sent me as a wedding gift, a new one with my new initials on. And it's crazy because they sent me like the same one as this one is like a kind of cross grain leather and this one's like an ostrichy leather. Um, both lovely and pink. You can get them obviously in black. They do crop. They have all different types of leather. Um, you can get the non-personalised, personalised. I think people love things with their name on. Everyone needs a passport holder. Um, especially because I think they're getting way tighter now uh, if the emblem on the front of, if you have a UK passport, if the emblem uh, is like marked or has worn off a bit, I think they're really picky with that. So they are a good thing that everyone needs. Um, card holders, this is mine. I clearly need a new one. This is from St. Laurent. Jack got me this for Christmas a long time ago. So all of these are gifts as well that I've had um, and loved. So Jack got me that for Christmas, my passport holder. That was a wedding gift. This is another one that Jack got me, St. Laurent card holder. This isn't personalised, and I don't think you can get these personalised, but so many brands that you can get them personalised. Um, Aspinall off the top of my head. Um, I think Chloe do personalisation on their website too, or if you get it from Selfridges in store, I think you can, or in store at Chloe. Um, there's loads of different brands, and usually if you buy direct from the brand is where you're going to get the personalisation, whereas if you buy it from a different store, then you can't. But I did want to say actually about the passport holders and card holders and stuff, if you weren't bothered about personalisation, Brand Alley is an amazing place to look. I work with them a lot on gifting and stuff, uh, and since then I've got really into like checking the website, I literally check all the time. I've had Chloe bags, Balenciaga bags in there, Aspinall um, passport holders and card holders, they have on there massive discounts you can get a passport holder or card holder for around 25 20 pounds and it's an amazing brand and it's just something that i think people will think is really expensive but you've got a massive bargain finally a little um coin purse is another gift good gift idea this one is from hermes jack got me this um for my christmas present a couple of years ago really nice gift uh, something everyone needs, especially when people are using card holders. <laughs> um, so yeah, another good idea. And again, you can get them pretty affordable um, in different designers or obviously on the high street. Uh, or you could go to like, there's a really nice leather brand called The Daily Editors. Actually, I'll link below. And they do things like this and handbags that you can get personalised. And like laptop cases, iPad cases. So they're a good one to look at too. Then I have another section. So this one is kind of a cheat because it was going to be jewellery and then I wanted to show you something else and I was like, I haven't got five, which one can I fit this, which section can I fit this in? So this is jewellery and sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know how I've, made, I've like justified this to myself, but I think designer sunglasses are a really good idea. Obviously, normal sunglasses too. And when I say designer, it doesn't have to be like really expensive designer, like Dior, Chanel. Obviously, I'm sure anyone would love those. But you can get like Ray-Ban sunglasses and stuff. Again, Brand Alley have a selection of designer sunglasses. So really affordable. I also have a ton from Sunglasses Shop. So I have a few pairs that I wear all the time at the moment. So I thought I'd show you these. I think as well um, with sunglasses, it's really nice. They come in such a nice box. So these are a pair of Chloe ones, which are my most recent pair. And they come in the most beautiful packaging. The box is beautiful as well. Um, and they are like these really, they're not like the most practical sunglasses, but they're beautiful and I really love these. Um, and then we have a pair of St. Laurent ones, if you've got more of a fashionista maybe. And they again coming in nice packaging, not quite the same as the Chloe ones. And these are like a classic pair of aviators. These are all from sunglasses shop, these two. Uh, and then a pair that I literally cannot stop wearing are these Mulberry ones. So again, come in a really nice Mulberry box that is actually um, goes flat, which is really handy. Uh, and they're really kind of classic style and a, a really good gift idea. Mulberry, again, I'm not sure if they do personalisation. I'm sure they do. But they will have all the leather products. And I think that their, their leather small goods are quite affordable. Um, so really good entry point. And they've actually got, if you want to spend a bit more, really good collaboration with Acne at the moment. Um, with like, so they've got really nice little leather goods that are Acne and Mulberry. And then they also have... I don't know if they have a scarf, but they have handbags and stuff as well, which are really cool. And then the jewellery. So I have a few brands I want to show you of jewellery to show you the different kind of things. So my favourite designer jewellery brand is Chloe at the moment. I really love their jewellery. So I have this necklace that I literally wear every day. It's called the Femininity Necklace. I actually found it for sale online because I thought it was sold out. 
Um, I think they have like a newer version of it. Uh, but I really love this one. Uh, and then this ring that my sister got me for uh, as a wedding gift or a pre-wedding gift. Um, and they're like the alphabet rings. So mine says J for Jack, my new husband. It's not focusing um but you can get your own initial um i don't know if they have symbols as well but they're really nice gifts you could get one for every finger and then no one would want to mess with you um and then another brand that i love i feel like i'm not breathing is this monica vinegar necklace monica vinegar have the most beautiful jewelry they do diamonds and things their prices range from quite affordable to really expensive this necklace is 500 pounds so it is on the pricier side but they do have a lot of discounts offered around christmas time and gift sets and things um and i know for black friday they did 50 percent off this necklace which is insane uh, and they also have a matching bracelet and they do it in all different like um sizes so they have like the really chunky ones or the thinner ones i love this range uh, and it's like really cool but they also do more kind of delicate and traditional jewelry so definitely worth checking out and, and also with monica vinegar it's uh, gold vermeil i think it's called but apparently i've never done it myself but i've heard that they have a service where if it is starting to get a bit worn down the gold you can go and have it re-dipped i think for free or a very small charge so that is really good um <laughs> really 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 good and then finally um, my old love pandora you guys know i love pandora i'm not an ambassador anymore but it doesn't stop me loving them i want to show you the bracelets obviously they're like the most iconic products they do have lots of different things but this is a newer bracelet that i've got which i really adore and it's uh bangle and for people who are kind of maybe a bit over the whole um charm bracelet this is really cool you can add charms to it but it's just really nice on its own and it's like silver and gold then there's a couple of charm bracelets here this is my favorite one which is a locket so it's kind of a loose bracelet and it's got a locket and then this one which is like a mesh gold i also really love so i'll link those below too and now i'm going to my last one which is coffee table books i couldn't not include this because i literally adore coffee table books and also think they're a great gift for anyone so for men obviously you'd go more towards like cookbooks and things uh, or like male fashion maybe depending on the kind of person that your husband boyfriend brother dad is um for women fashion interior i mean cookery i just think coffee table books are great so this is one that I recently got for myself and I adore. It's amazing. It's called Eat, Drink, Nap and it's um, from Soho House. So anyone who loves home, cooking, anything, <clears throat> this is a really good one. So it's got like interior, it's got beautiful pictures and stuff. It's got interior advice on like how to decorate a room, where to find the best vintage things, how to start from scratch and designing things. It's got beautiful imagery of all the different Soho House uh, residences and then it's also got recipes for the things that are on the menus in different places. So it's kind of a really great all-rounder. Uh, and also, as with any co um, coffee book, table book, the most important thing is it looks good because you're gonna be wanna display it. So this is a really nice one. It's got a really nice texture. It's like beige and black, so it would go with anything. And then a couple that were gifts to me. So this one was a gift from my husband. Uh, and that I still say weird thing, husband. It's a bit dusty. And this is the Chanel Catwalk Collections. I've never actually looked at this, um, but I do want to at some point. But yeah, it's just all the different Chanel Catwalk Collections. So if someone you like has or love or want to buy for has got a favourite designer, then this is a great idea. And then another designer one that I got as a gift from my sister as a wedding gift, like it was for me and Jack, but obviously it was just for me, is this the same, but Dior complete cowl collections and as you can see I haven't opened this one yet but it's a lovely um book great gift and the same as my Chanel one so those two will sit really nicely together on my shelves thank you so much for watching this video I hope that I haven't like completely bombarded you guys literally with information talking at 100 miles an hour but I wanted to fit it all in and I didn't want it to be like 40 minutes long and um, so hopefully I've achieved that I hope that I've given you guys some ideas. If I have, let me know. If you've got any other ideas, leave them in the comments below because I'm still buying Christmas presents, so I need ideas. And also, it'll be helpful for each other so we can like help each other out in the comments. Um, if you avoid, uh, avoided, <laughs> if you avoided this video, you won't be watching this. 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more from me. If there's anything you do want to see, leave me a comment below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.